Hello, welcome to the Tarot Cottage. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your presence in my life, on my channel. Without you, I would honestly cease to exist here. So I truly appreciate you. To everyone who has blessed me this week, your generosity has truly touched me. Um, and if you are finding yourself on this channel for the very first time, please welcome. We are a space of light and love, and I do daily pick-a-card readings here. We would love to have you join us, join our little family. Um, I do messages for soulmates and separation on Sunday. I do pick a card readings every single day. So hit that notification bell, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos you might be interested in. Um, pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of tea, and we'll have a bit of a chat because we're all friends here at my table. So today's pick a card reading is a requested video from the comment section. And today we're asking the question, who is constantly thinking about you? Who is thinking about you right this moment? Who has you on their mind right this second? We have three piles in front of you today. We have pile number one with the dark purple, um, I can't think of the word now, it's gone, my mind's gone blank, carnation <laughs> and the adventurine. We have pile number two with the yellow jasper and the beautiful two-tone daisy. And we have pile number three with the amethyst and the peach carnation. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, just know that there may be a message waiting there for, from spirit for you today. Again, today's topic is who is constantly thinking about you, who has you on their mind right this second. I'm going to jump right into group number one. Hello, welcome to pile one. You were attracted to this beautiful carnation, such a deep, beautiful color, or this adventuring stone. Either way, this is your reading for who is constantly thinking about you right this moment, who has you on their mind right this second. That is the question we are posing to spirit today. Who has you on their mind? Who can't stop thinking about you? So we have the four of wands. So the four of wands is an indicator of a twin flame, can be an indicator of soulmate connection. Uh, fire signs are really reflected by the four of wands. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the Empress. Who is thinking about you? The 10 of wands, some clarifiers for the four of wands. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we have the four of cups. <clears throat> Sorry for the wobble. I'm working on getting a sturdier stand, so bear with me as this channel grows. Uh, my equipment will grow with it. Six of Cups. Mm, three of Wands. And on the back of the deck, we have the Fool card. So who is this person who is constantly thinking of you? So when I think of the Fool, I really think about somebody very young, somebody kind of innocent, maybe a bit naive when it comes to love and the heart and matters of the heart. And I do feel like this could be somebody from uh, your friend group, somebody from your past who you had a really deep connection with. And the reason I feel that way is because of the six of cups staring at me from the center of your reading. And it's somebody who has really warm, loving thoughts when it comes to you and a lot of fiery thoughts <laughs> when it comes to you. Um, this person that's thinking about you puts you up on this pedestal. They could be like a really nurturing person, just somebody really warm. But again, this fool spirit at the back of the deck, the back of the deck energy for me is just like an overhaul of energy of how, who this person is, what embodies them. And the fool is like this, this charismatic, innocent, uh, like I said, a little bit naive, kind of jumps into situations maybe head first without thinking them through. Um, that could be the type of person that we are looking at right now. So if you know who this person is, um, they're very innocent, very childlike. They don't have to be young in age, but they can be just young in spirit um, and somebody who really wants to take a leap of faith with you because I feel like they think that this is a very important connection to them. Um, fours are a sign of stability and order in numerology, and we have the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups here um, starting out your reading in this, this first position. That four of wands, as I said, is about twin flame, fire, 
homecoming celebration but the four of cups is like the opposite of that it's like a real yin yang type of energy so it's like this person is flip-flopping um they go from periods of really passionate thoughts about you and warm thoughts about you to feelings of apathy feelings of boredom feeling stuck in place in this connection and i feel like they've been sitting there for a while with the six of cups because that's about the past about nostalgic type of love coming in um it's about being generous with someone and I feel like they think that you have a lot of beautiful, generous attributes <laughs> when it comes to you um, and your appearance. I think they think you're very attractive. But I also see this Ten of Wands and this Three of Wands sitting here. And again, passion, fire is represented by these wands. They really have a lot of passion towards you and they want to expand it. This Ten of Wands shows that it's becoming a burden. Tens are about completion and needing closure. They want to put these wands somewhere. <laughs> We have the Three of Wands, which shows that expansion, the desire to move this um, connection along. Um, we're going to get a little bit more clarity here for you. Oops. Who is this person who is constantly thinking about you right this moment? What are some of their thoughts when it comes to you? Eight of Wands, more fire. I don't know if you're both fire signs. There's indicators of water as well with judgment. Who is thinking of you, their secret thoughts. We have the seven of swords and the here fit here. We also have this card that's staring at me that I feel like pulling. I'm going to talk about that one as well. Okay, so this person really wants to open up the lines of communication with you and reveal some of these hidden feelings that they've been feeling for a really long time. Um, I feel like for some of you watching, this person could be in a a situation where they could be kind of faking it till they make it sort of the energy for me right now. Like this card is not a part of my actual tarot deck, but it came with the deck. So I've assigned it meaning and I always get the impression that someone is in a family situation, but they're not happy where they are or and there, it may not even be an unhappy home, but it's just at the base of all things, their emotions are still kind of stuck in the past. It's that feeling of the Four of Cups, that apathy, that boredom. So for some of you, um, this person could be stuck in a marriage that makes them kind of unhappy, but they would really like to, or a connection that makes them unhappy, and they would really like to expand their feelings and the experience with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That may not be the case in your connection. Um, I do see that this person is really working on themselves. I see them, you know, with the Hierophant card here. Sometimes it represents marriage, marriage to me and connections, which is why I've associated over here with that message that I just spoke about. But at times it's about expansion. It's about growing. It's about climbing the ladder of success and growing as a person. But it's also about conforming, conforming to roles that are assigned to you, conforming to roles that um, are kind of placed in your way. <clears throat> by expectations of others as well. So I feel like this person kind of conformed to the expectations of others in the past, but have secretly, you know, held out all of this passion for you, held out all of this desire to communicate with you. And I do feel like they want to come in and communicate with you with this eight of wands. It is a fiery, fast communication coming in. And what they want to communicate with you secretly <laughs> is this desire for a resurrection, this desire to leap to the unknown with you. Both of these cards have a similar feeling to me today because it's about starting over. It's about taking that leap of faith and getting a do-over in a sense. Let's get a spirit card for you. You have the scorpion, so lots of sexual energy, water energy, a lot of emotion wrapped up. So there's sexual energy and emotion wrapped up together and it's kind of overwhelming, I feel like. It gets muddled in their minds. Um, because they have these nostalgic feelings for you and maybe it never went into the sexual realm. So now they're really kind of, it's over the top for them. They're really thinking about it, which is why all these wands have kind of showed up in your reading today. Any other messages? What does this person think about? What do they think about? They're worried about the obstacles. Again, they're focused on passion, worried about the obstacles in their way. And they're holding these feelings a secret. They're fearful of the obstacles in the way of this connection. But they really want to feel more balanced and they really want to come forward 
and talk with you. They really want to come forward and offer you um, a new beginning, offer you this love offer that the Knight of Cups brings forth. But this Six of Pentacles really shows that they they are maybe feeling like they're begging for scraps when it comes to love when, with you. They want to level out that playing field. They want to have a secure place to stand when it comes, uh, like a secure ground to stand upon when it comes to you in this connection. But fear is really holding them back from expressing all of this. But the good news is that this Knight of Cups is a motion card. The Knight of Cups gallops in gallantly with all of the bells and whistles. And I feel like if this person does come forward, they are going to be really over top with their offer because they're so... They think you deserve it with this Empress energy and the Six of Cups. They really want to please you. They want to be generous with you. They want to um, offer you the world is what I feel. <clears throat> we have not today, not, dis not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation. <laughs> They're still angry. And I feel like that could be your energy. Maybe you're kind of upset that they never came forward in the past, that they waited till this whole entanglement over here was kind of involved we have seduction attraction flirting hooking up temptation third party interference so that is a message for some of you watching who resonated with that third party message that i spoke about um there could have been a lot of flirting in the past of this connection as well a lot of back and forth kind of cat and mouse that never evolved when it should have evolved mask not showing your true emotions being dishonest because they didn't feel like they were good enough and they had they self-sabotaged a lot. They had a lot of ego issues that they needed to work through and I feel like they still are. Um, on the back of the deck we have hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, gambling. And I feel like they, they see coming towards you as a kind of a big risk. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Maybe somebody is kind of feeling negative about themselves, feeling like they're not enough because they, at the base of all things, they truly put you on that pedestal and they don't see themselves as, as far along in life as you are. Romance. Lavish the one you ha love with personal attention and affection. And that's what that Knight of Cups does, you guys advice from your guides and angels focus on love look for the good in everyone worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life <clears throat> and it's important to mention too that when we see a lot of major arcana like we do here in this pile you know, we have the Empress, we have the Fool, we have the Hierophant, we have the Moon. Um, these are all indicators from Spirit that this is an important connection to your experience here. I have one on the floor. You deserve love. You are lovable. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And that empress can be a, re a representative of a mother type energy. So someone in this connection could have children. It could be you or this person. It could be affecting this whole scenario. Sometimes people make decisions for the good of children. And we have honeymoon on the back of the deck. I always focus on the moon there. They want to travel with you. That knight of cups likes to travel, likes to get out and be adventurous. Um, but it's these secret feelings that they're holding, and they're really allowing fear to really hold them back here. Now. Oops. Enlightenment. It's time to shine some light <clears throat> on this situation. It's time for a little bit of honesty. A little bit of prayer. <laughs> Let your guides and angels know clearly what you want out of life so that you can manifest it because you're growing impatient and this person's growing impatient, um, waiting to reveal their truth to you. But it's important for spirit to remind us that we are all in charge of our own actions and that we do not have to sit around on our laurels and wait around for anyone. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm very scratchy today. I wake up very early to record these videos, so sometimes my voice is a little bit 
<clears throat> Gross. <laughs> what does this person want to say to you? What are their secret thoughts when it comes to you? I don't know how to fix everything. I don't know how to get myself out of here. I don't know how to show enough bravery. But I want you to know that I miss you regardless of how <clears throat> everything looks on the outside. I'm afraid of coming forward because I'm afraid of being rejected by you. I've been afraid of rejecting, of being rejected by you since the beginning of this connection started. But I want you to know that it has always been you for me. I was just too afraid to come forward and let you know that. And I am tired of not contacting you. I'm tired of being a disconnect from you. I'm tired of just having to fantasize about you. And I want you to know that I was frustrated in the past because you sent me these mixed signals, which is why it added to my fear of rejection. And I don't want to hurt anyone and I don't want anyone to get hurt. And I'm trying to do what's right. I'm trying to conform to, to everyone's expectations of me. And I want you to know that I've grown up, that I'm a different person than you remember me being and that I'm still in fantasy land. <laughs> when it comes to you. And I do dream of just coming in and being reckless with you. I dream of risking it all just to, to have one moment of time with you because belonging is truly eating away at me right now. I'm, I want you to know that I've grown up. I'm a different person. I've grown up. I have thing, I have skills <laughs> that... You know, I've been working on myself. I've been climbing the ladder of success. Uh, I realize that timing has never been our strong suit in life. Um, and timing is terrible right now for us. But I want you to know that from the beginning of time, you have fascinated me. And I feel this connection. I have secrets. I have secrets when it comes to my feelings for you. I have secrets that I have to keep hidden from other people. And truthfully, I ache for you. But I, sometimes I just want you to get out of my head because it's torturous. It's torturous to not be able to be with you. And I've been watching you from the outside. And I need to come forward soon because I feel like you could be the one that I'm meant to be with. Yeah, on the back of the deck, I keep seeing it, but it doesn't pop out. The We are meant to be together, so we're going to pull that one for you today. And they really want you to know, finally, that they love you and they always will love you. This person that's constantly thinking about you on their mind. Let's get some charms for you. charms in the bowl today we have the chariot and we have the nine of wands so somebody you know we had that ten of wands and nines you know you're almost to the finish line you've been wielding these passion this passion for a really long time and it's like taking so long the impatience is setting in and it's almost making you feel defensive like when is this going to be over how long do i have to hold these wands for but truthfully spirit wants you to know that those are your decisions to make <clears throat> and you put yourself in positions where you feel hung up or you feel stuck um, the chariot is a reminder, cancer energy really represented that whatever decision you make, you have to make it with determination, with willpower, and charge forward. It is a movement card. Um, that is a good indicator for this person that they may reveal their truth to you um, in time. So <clears throat> they need to really make that decision and charge forward. We have S and T. We have the chain, Capricorn energy represented feeling stuck, feeling fearful, allowing that fear to really imprison you in a situation. We have the apple. And as I said, I feel like this is someone from your past, maybe somebody you went to school with. We have Leo. Leo energy is very strongly represented here by all of the fire um, in your pile. So a lot of passion. Uh, but the Leo and the, the lion is also a symbol of strength and a symbol of digging deep and kind of taming the fears inside of you because truly here, you know, you versus you, this person is their own worst enemy when it comes to revealing themselves. We have little children's feet, so kids could be a factor in this connection. Um, Pisces energy represented. We have the marijuana charm. 
and it says here believe in love as well and we have this little um religious medallion and it is the holy family <laughs> so i do feel like for some of you watching there is a sort of family situation um involved whether on your side or your person's side that kind of muddles up the mix a little bit and children are definitely a factor here okay group number one this is your reading who is constantly thinking about you who has you on their mind right this second um, if this resonated with you if you know who this person is please leave me a comment in the comment section i love to read your comments um, i've been a little bit in and out lately um, we had a death in our family but um, i've been in and out but i'd like to get to the comment section more this week <laughs> so bear with me um, so if you feel called to, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. It truly helps this channel to grow. But either way, I just really hope to see you again here for another visit at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. Thank you for joining me at the Tarot Cottage today. You guys were drawn to this beautiful daisy or this yellow jasper. Um, and this is your reading. Who is constantly thinking about you? Who has you on their mind right this second? We're going to draw you a pile. Whoops, already lost one on the floor. And we're going to um, get some clarifiers for you. And then we're going to talk about this person. So, sorry about the wobble, you guys. I'm working on getting a new stand. We have the King of Stones, the King of Pentacles. So this person that is thinking about you right now is a boss type of energy. Really attractive, I feel. Somebody who really values work. And works hard for what they have somebody really stable we have the ace of stones the ace of pentacles <laughs> somebody very practical could be an earth sign we have the knight of cups the eel let's get some clarifying cards for that king of stones the four of stones protection beautiful clarifying the ace of stones the three of bows in light fulfillment. Clarifying the knight of cups, the knight of vessels. We have the eight of scones, the skill. And on the back of the deck, we have the queen of arrows, the swan. Okay, so who is this person? My goodness, this person is a steadfast, sturdy type of energy. Very attractive, very boss-like. Um, could be someone who's more on the serious side, maybe isn't really emotional, but they do have a lot of emotion when it comes to you. Um, they are just someone who really wants to expand this connection, somebody who really wants to bring truth into it as well. But I don't feel like the, the type of person that wears their emotions on their sleeve. I feel like maybe they kind of hold some of that back and they more value truth and um, being very clear in a situation than they would being emotionally you know, out there. Uh, I feel the King of Stones here with the Four of Stones. This person is the type of person that really values stability in life. And um, they could be someone that makes a lot of money. I'm just going to put that out there. There's a lot of, of pentacles being associated or being represented here. And we have this Eight of Stones called Skill. It's about hard work. We have the, the Ace of Pentacles here, which is about a valuable offer that this person wants to bring forth. And that valuable offer that they want to offer you is love, an abundant love offer. And I mean, I feel like they're, gonna, they're going to really spare no expense when it comes to offering you this offer. Like that, that Knight of Vessels is very generous is very charismatic. All the bells and whistles come out for him. He doesn't always have a surefire plan of what he's going to do after the fact, but this person doesn't seem like that energy. They seem very hardworking, willing to do anything, any, put all the work in to make you happy, to keep you stable and in a very happy place in life. And they want to expand this connection. So this is someone you're already aware of. I feel like you're already um, in contact with this person or you already know this person because we have this three of bows which is about fulfillment about expansion so I know that they already know you and they want to expand this connection into a new place they have this sense of wanting to protect you wanting to, and they have this sense of like they already feel like you're you kind of belong to them <laughs> in a sense it's like that sense of um, possessiveness but I, I mean that in the best possible way like they want to be your person they want you to be their person and the reason is because they really want to rule and they really want to protect you and take care of you and offer you a lot of stability and happiness I feel let's get a little bit more clarity for you Sorry, if 
fighting with my decks here so I don't topple them all on the floor. And we all know what, how good I am at that. Who is this person that's constantly thinking about you right now? What are their thoughts right this moment of you? What are their thoughts right this moment? This person is thinking about you. We have the devil. So they're feeling a little sexy when it comes to you. <laughs> they want to um, expand this connection to a physical place. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles twice. They want to communicate some things with you. We have the Nine of Wands. So they've been kind of feeling, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this has been in the works for a while, Wheel of Fortune. This has been in the works for a while with this person. Um, they have wanted to expand this connection for a while with you, and they feel like it's something that's kind of faded, meant to be with that Wheel of Fortune. They want to build a foundation of success with you. And again, they're willing to put that work in. This is a very steadfast person. They could definitely be a um, earth sign, you know, a, a, a Taurus, a Virgo. They could be a Capricorn with that devil present as well. Just somebody very steadfast. Somebody wants to come in and offer you the world and put in that work and they realize it's going to take work. Because this is not the type of person that flies in for a one night stand. This is the type of person that builds a foundation with you, takes you out, gets to know you, you know, does all of the, the things that you're supposed to do in a relationship to expand it. But they are kind of focused right now on their sexy thoughts with that devil card. And we have this nine of wands, which shows that they have had these feelings for you for a while, wanting to expand that connection. And it's starting to become a little bit heavy, a little bit burdensome. And they may be getting their feelings a little bit up in a knot here with the nine of wands and with the, <laughs> the impression of that swan on their face, you know, that sense of, of standoffishness. Like I've been, I've been having to deal with these feelings for a really long time. I'm starting to get annoyed at the rate of speed at which it, at, ri at which it's coming in with this Knight of Pentacles. It's a movement card, but it's slow. And I feel like this person now is ready with this Ace of Pentacles coming out twice. They're ready to come forward with that valuable love offer. They're ready to come forward and speak their truth. Offer you that offer. You can see the the Pentacles in the mouth there to speak their truth. Get a a animal card for you today. Who is this person? The Nightingale. The Nightingale is a beautiful reflection of spirit. It's about beautiful things coming in small packages. It's about um, hope and faith. We have it sitting on the moon there, so quenching that fear. We have the fox and we have the elk as well. I feel like pulling for you. Um, that fox, you know, people always think of the sneaky as a fox, but the fox is a very intelligent animal. Um, and the fox is also someone who really values teaching others. And I say that because when a fox, a male fox specifically, and I do feel a lot of masculine energy here, but always remember it's always about energy and not specific gender. But um, the f male fox, when babies are born, will actually hide food to teach their cubs how to, how to hunt, how to eat. So I feel like this person is a leader, somebody who teaches others who um, maybe they're in school right now, maybe they are the teacher, but I feel like they're a leader who kind of teaches other people. Um, and the fox is also the symbol of, of playfulness as well. Um, I feel like this person is kind of more of an uh, earthbound energy, but when it comes to you, it kind of awakens their playful side. They have stamina, and, but they feel like they're full of fire, full of flame when it comes to this connection because they've been in it for a while, but they want you to know that they have stamina. It's like that Sia song. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So this could be someone from your friend group, perhaps. We have soulmate energy. Yes, this is your soulmate. Attraction. You attract the romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like there's a deep amount of attraction here. And I feel like this person is, is a very practical person that they may not even believe in like soulmates and that sort of energy but that's why you guys work so well together because there's a yin to the yang we have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and I really feel like this person would would totally go that route with you they want to build that foundation I feel like they value that typical connection that typical traditional relationship We have outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. 
because this person is so practical, I feel like they go over and over and over all of their plans in their minds so much so that they miss the boat sometimes. We have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And as I say, you know, that three of bows about fulfillment, feeling fulfilled, expanding this connection. We do have a lot of movement cards here. That Knight of Cups is a movement card. So you guys may hear from this person. And those Ace of Pentacles offers with it a offer coming up twice. So you're going to hear from this person shortly. We have reminiscing, camera keepsake, looking and learning from the past. So they're looking at your pictures on social media, perhaps. Photograph. Yeah, they're looking at you. They're looking at your photos. They're missing you. What is next? We have grief. <clears throat> so maybe somebody feels um, bad about not... Whoops. Somebody feels bad about not making moves in the past where they should have made moves. Instinct. We have the wolf imagery there in isolation. So this person, and workaholic, you guys, definitely feels like a workaholic here. And so much so that they probably isolated themselves in a lot of ways when it comes to love. So this is a, a feeling, these feelings for you are something that is really kind of stirred up a lot of, of things inside of this person because they have isolated themselves because they've thrown themselves into their work. But the soulmate card with the instinct card for me, it really is truly a reflection of this connection going deeper than the surface. Um, maybe in the past there was a lot of, of pain with this person or with yourself. Maybe you're having a hard time moving forward into a new connection because of pain from the past. Um, but spirit wants you to know that you can dig deep because inside you is this ability to heal yourself. Like the starfish energy. What would this person say to you if he had no filter? He or she had no filter and they could speak their truth. What would they say to you right this moment? I don't know how to tell you the truth is what they're saying. I don't know how to be honest because my heart is being protected. The distance between us is killing me, but I don't know how to express that to you. The emotional distance. Please don't give up on this connection yet. Don't give up on us. I'm making my way towards you, but I'm, I'm doing it slowly because I do feel like you are my soulmate. We have that soulmate card coming out, so that's a very apt card to come out. I want you to know that it's always been you, and I, you are consuming my thoughts. I didn't realize I had these deep feelings for you until you had already walked away from my life, but I want you to know that I... I knew there was something special about you the very first moment I saw you. I feel jealous over you when I watch your social media or if I see you out with other people. I feel so jealous. And I feel stuck because I, I don't feel like I'm ready to come forward yet. I wish that I could just throw all of those cautions to the wayside. What do they want to say? You are my lighthouse. You are my, my storm. You're the person I look to when I want to, when I think about improving myself because um, I want to improve myself for you. But at the same time, I feel like this connection holds me back from really focusing on what I need to get done and work. I'm putting on a show for everybody. I'm hiding my true feelings because I, truly I dream about you all day long. You're the reason I work so hard. I want to leave the past where it is. Whoops. And I'm tired of waiting. And I still love you. Or I do love you. I don't feel these persons ever revealed themselves to you. Now there's an explosion. <clears throat> but I am in love with you. <laughs> I want you to know that, that you do deserve every good thing and that's why I'm working so hard and I, I, I have to keep these urges hidden from you and from everyone in my life, even from myself at times so that I can focus on my work and I can't hold back much longer because my heart skips a beat when I see you. Whoops. 
one fell out. What do we have today? We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. So this person is a little bit fearful of coming towards you. Um, the moon is all about, you know, that blocked intuition, that fear that holds us back and those masks that we wear in life. And we have that eight of pentacles. This person, we have the eight of pentacles down here. This person is throwing themselves into work. I feel like they have had these feelings for you for a while. I see all those years lined up in the pentacles. <clears throat> and so they've been working on themselves, throwing themselves into work, holding these feelings secret. They're very steadfast, could definitely be an earth sign, but they want movement with the shoe here. And they haven't given up hope. We have the starfish. The letter S is here. My light's flickering. Um, we have a lot of water energy here represented. We have the dolphin, a uh, bunch of fishtails. We have the seahorse. So it definitely could be a water sign as well or have water in their chart. Or maybe you're the water sign here. Um, the key with the wings, looking at things from a higher perspective, truly soulmate energy re reflected there because of the key to your heart sort of um, scenario. We have a cat, a feather as well, looking at things from a higher perspective. We have a commandment here that says, thou shalt not commit adultery. So that's a special message for somebody waiting or watching. Um, we have this um, seahorse imagery here, which is about, you know, really going with the flow in life. And um, I'm just grabbing a book. Sorry, guys, for my room there. Um, going with the flow in life. And truly, you know, if you think of the seahorse energy, they mate for life as well. So soulmate energy is really reflected there. We have the, the quarter here, and there's an elk on it. And we had the elk spirit come out for you and your elk. So it's about stamina. It's about determination. It's about leadership as well. This person is a leader, a natural born leader, I feel. What else is in your bowl here? We have the praying hands as well. So that's a reflection of you know, leaning on spirit during times of maybe feeling unsure about this connection. We have the rune of wholeness. It talks about harmony, good health, self-knowledge, and triumph in general. The integration of mind and spirit becomes possible with this powerful rune. And that's what this person needs to do. They need to lean more on spirit and less on practicality and less on that, all of those plans that they're making because there is no perfect timing when it comes to making your own plans. I know I always say there's a perfect plan. It's working itself out in its perfection, and that is very true. But if you are the person that's holding back, or if someone is holding back from making moves because of fear, that's not waiting on, on divine timing. That's, that's letting fear hold divine timing backwards <laughs> or back. So that's what this person needs to do is push through those fears. Okay, group number two, that is your reading. This is who is constantly thinking about you right at this moment. These are some of their thoughts of you right at this moment. This is a boss guy, energy person, um, really throwing themselves into work, really practical, um, but really desiring an expansion with you for sure. Uh, really, honestly, would love to come forward and probably marry you <laughs> at some point. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. Um, I'm going to move on to the last group, but I really hope to see you again here for another visit at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Hello and welcome all of you who chose group number three. You guys were drawn to this beautiful peach carnation or maybe to this beautiful amethyst, whatever drew you to this pile I want to welcome you with open arms and I want to start your reading <laughs> this is your reading who is constantly thinking about you who's thinking about you right this second what are some of their thoughts right now we have the three of swords and the three of pentacles coming out already so there could be a third party situation um in the you know <laughs> who is constantly thinking about you who is this person we have the lovers, Gemini represented, clarifying card for the three of swords. Who is this person constantly thinking about you? The hanged man. So two, some powerful energies coming out. Clarifier for the three of pentacles. Who is constantly thinking about you? The two of pentacles. Somebody's juggling emotions. Clarifier for the lovers. Oh, we had one almost flip out, but decided to make a change. The lovers. 
clarifier for the lovers who is constantly thinking about you, the Knight of Pentacles. And on the back of the deck, we have the beautiful Two of Cups. Okay, who is this person? Let's start with the back of deck energy. I'm using the beautiful Golden Girls Tarot for you guys today. And if you don't know who the Golden Girls are, um, I strongly encourage you guys to check them out on YouTube or something. Great, great show. Wonderful set of ladies. I love them so much. So that's why I'm using this deck. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I, it's special to me. So, and you guys are special to me. So I want to use it for you. Um, the two of cups is the back of deck energy here. The overhaul of this person is that this could definitely be a soulmate that is definitely thinking about you right now. It's somebody who values you, who really has a lot of love for you and who wants a relationship with you. The lovers is also another soulmate card for me. It's about deep attraction. And as I mentioned early, or Gemini energy is really represented by the lovers card. You don't have to be a Gemini. I just like to throw that out there for the Geminis in case they can see themselves reflected in the pile. Um, this person, I do feel though, is maybe caught up in a third party situation or maybe you yourself have moved on into some sort of relationship because we have this three of swords and the hanged man here. So if somebody feels kind of stuck in their position and they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're feeling sad, heartbroken. Um, there could be an apology that needs to come forward, but we'll get some clarity on that in a moment. Um, and then we have this three of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So somebody's building a foundation, um, but they're kind of juggling, you know, their responsibilities with their true emotions and their feelings. And ultimately, I feel like this person is kind of moved into this third party because they were tired of the length of time it was taking to connect with you. And I feel like there's a part of them that kind of regrets that decision. But we're going to get some clarity on your person. How are they feeling? What are their secret thoughts of you? right this moment, this person that's thinking about you, constantly thinking about you, and they're thinking about you right this second, what are those thoughts right this moment? So we have the Ten of Wands. So they have been feeling a lot of passion towards you. We have the Mother of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. What are they thinking? the Daughter of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and on the back of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So they want their secret thoughts of you right this moment. And we also have the Three of Pentacles again. I feel like pulling. Um, this could be somebody from your friend group from the past as well because we have the Six of Cups represented on the back of the deck. Um, somebody who, again, would love to build a foundation with you and love to see success in this connection. And I feel like they're kind of faking it till they make it. I don't feel like they are as happy as maybe they're portraying themselves to be in life because truthfully, those tens are about completions and about wanting closure. And the 10 of wands is about a burden that's become very, very heavy. It's a burden that some, it's like brambles trying to make it through, you know, a sticky situation unscathed. And it's kind of hard to do and this person has nowhere to put their passion that they feel for you because their thoughts of you right this moment are, are to reach out to you to gain clarity and some stability in this connection. This queen of pentacles, this page of pentacles, you know, the page brings with it news. News comes in with the page of pentacles. So I feel like I, if you are not in contact with this person, I can see them reaching out to you. I can see them reaching out. Um, to some of you watching, always take what resonates and leave what doesn't in my readings. Um, but I see them wanting to reach out to kind of stabilize this connection because they do have a desire to kind of keep things or to, they have a desire to express this passion for you and to have that victory with you. But they know that to do that, you know, before you walk, you have to crawl. You have to take that step to communicate. What is this person's next move? This person constantly thinking about you. What is their next move? You have two of swords. They're in decision-making mode. They're wearing that mask. It's because they're so... Uh, they, the decision they made in the past, they're paralyzed by the fear of making the wrong one. We have the Hierophant. They're conforming. Conforming to the roles that have been assigned to them. We have the Hermit. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person, you know, is kind of maybe sitting in a family situation. Always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Don't shoot the messenger either. <laughs> if it doesn't resonate with your situation, then there may be a message waiting in another pile for you. But I feel like this person 
um, is conforming and kind of wearing those masks in life and not revealing their truth to people. They could be working on themselves with the Hierophant there and they could have been someone you met in school but the Hierophant also represents you know marriages and so does this Ten of Pentacles about building a foundation that you're proud of with someone. I see them feeling pretty lonely in this situation and you know not revealing their truth. You know it's interesting because you have these cards flagged, you have these family kind of commitment cards flagged by this indecision and sadness and mask wearing and and holding a flame for another person. So I do feel like they could be conforming to a situation that they feel is their place in life right now. But that hermit energy shows a lot of, it shows them being practical despite their loneliness is what I feel. Virgo really represented there. So this person is constantly thinking about you, but they do feel stuck in their current situation, I feel. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The Two of Swords is a reminder, though, that if you take off those masks, you can kind of make your decision more clearly. <laughs> Whoops, I just lost a card on the floor because that's my... As I said before, I should probably just do these on the floor. Maybe I should do a special reading on the floor and watch if that happens. They'll just float into the air inexplicably or something. Girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled. Ooh. I don't like that card. There's a real dichotomy here. Maybe that's where some of that pain from the past came from. Maybe the heartbreak comes from feeling used, feeling like you were some person, somebody on in this connection feels like they were kind of taken advantage of. Um, and there's maybe an apology that needs to come through with that three of swords. Heart with the key, welcoming, loving, meet. Meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. The ultimate fantasy of this person. They feel like you are the key to their heart. And I feel like you feel the same way. We have mirror, <laughs> mirrored energy. And we have palm tree, stability, security, growth, endurance, family. I feel like they are focusing on stability right now. And again, as I said with that six of, of wands, sometimes I get that impression that someone's faking it till they make it type of energy. So I feel like this person is enduring all of this, these responsibilities that they feel are on their shoulders. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's what this, these indecision cards are all about spirits and even the lover's card is a decision making card you know you have to decide where you want to go which direction do you want to go who do you want to be with what you know what kind of life do you want being clear with the universe putting yourself in that high vibration is a really good way of helping you move along in that direction getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond will deepen and there are a lot of masks being worn here. There are a lot of deceitful type. And I don't like using the word deceitful, but just not being clear about your intentions, not being clear about your emotions, which has caused all of this heartbreak in the past to, to begin with. We have finances and career are a factor right now. And I do feel like there is something to do with the stability, the money in the situation, um, maybe a family situation where there's a lot of money and, and property involved. There's something to do with finances, with practicalities here that your person's really focusing on. Whoops, I'm going to get you guys some animal, an animal card here, animal spirit card. This person constantly thinking about you. Their secret thoughts of you right at this moment. We have the zebra. So they're watching you from the outside. Watching you from the outside, they are well, and they want a resurrection. Um, but with the zebra spirit, you know, there's that sense of them blending into the background, almost mesmerizing. This person is almost mesmerizing. Like they can confuse you very easily. Maybe they're really a smooth talker. And maybe that's where this, like this narcissistic <laughs> card camp comes in for some of you. Like they're able to convince you of things. They're able to confuse you easily with some of their smooth words and it's kind of muddled up this entire situation. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am speaking to the collective here, so I'm, I'm pulling in a lot of different energies. I'm bringing in a lot of different messages for different people watching, but 
ultimately this person wants to, they feel like they've hit rock bottom in a sense with this connection and they really want, and with the Knight of Pentacles, it's probably, probably because they feel like a lot of time has passed between you and the disconnect here. Um, they really want to explore the heat between the two of you. They really want to have a renewal, a do over, a start over you know, secretly they want, but they're right now focusing on that stability, focusing on where they are most comfortable. And there are finances or career situations here that are in play. If this person could say anything to you, what would it be? If they could say anything to you right this moment, with no filter, with no fear, what would that one thing be? What are they thinking? I didn't follow my heart. I let, let it lead me somewhere completely different because it was the easier option at the time. But no one in my life right now knows that I still think about you in this way. They don't know that I'm not feeling good. I'm faking it really well, faking it till I make it. The separation between us is truly killing me. I feel like a hanged man. I feel like I'm just waiting around for happiness sometimes because it's always been you. I've been denying that in my heart. We have two. You have sent me mixed signals in the past. And so, but I'm so tired of not contacting you. I'm so tired of not being with you. So tired of not being able to at least hear your voice. I really don't know how much longer I can maintain this whole charade, charade. I'm worried that this is one-sided, that it's all in my head, that you don't feel the same way about me. I worry this is all in my head twice. I didn't even realize that card was in there twice. I want to know, do you miss us? I feel like you both feel like you're worried that this is all in both of your heads. Like you both question that within yourself. I feel like I can't make the first move towards you. I'm hung up there like the hanged man. I'm waiting for the universe to make a move. I'm waiting for you to make a move because at the truth of it all, I don't want anybody to get hurt. And I feel like there are people in this situation that could get hurt. I crave you. And I want you to know that I know that you and I were meant to be together. We can't escape it. <laughs> Even though we never said it out loud, we both understood this connection was important. I ache for your touch. Mm. And timing has never been, you know, something that we were good at. I have been watching. I want to come forward. But I can't make that first move is what I'm sensing with this person. Hold on, I dropped one. Your body drives me crazy. We'll get one more for you. I'm in love with you and nobody knows. And I want to know on the back of the deck, like, is it too late for me to come back and apologize for the way I treated you in the past? Is it too late for me to come back and apologize for making that wrong choice and not following my heart? Because truthfully, uh, I fell in love with you. Oh, this one was poking out too. You're my obsession. And I fell in love with you before I even knew what love was. Boop. Oh. Okay, what do we have today in your charm bowl? We have the five of wands. And the Three of Swords. Okay, so yeah, they're heartbroken. This person is sad. They have an apology to come forth. They may feel like there has been competition in the past when it comes to this connection with that Five of Wands. It's about competition and pushing through competition or pushing through obstacles in your way, whether that be people or things. Um, but I feel like there was competition in the past and it's caused a lot of heartbreak here. Um, and this person sees those obstacles and now they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to deal with the heartbreak that was left behind made with love and I choose strength. We have the letter A, we have the guitar and the pearl. The pearl is really a sign of wisdom about something precious being protected under the surface of the water. So the deep, the, a deep sense of emotion is represented by that little pearl. 
and something precious, like they consider you something precious. We have a commandment here from the Bible. Thou shalt not bear a false witness. Stop lying about your feelings. <laughs> That's really what that charm envelops for me is stop, you know, making false statements about your feelings. Stop pretending. Stop. Just speak truth always. We have the guitar. Let me grab another little. Okay, we have you as well. I just felt like grabbing a few more. Look at the little bear. We have the palm tree, so that could be significant to somebody. And we have the flat shell. Oh, we have another commandment. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Ooh. So, you know, that could be a real message for someone waiting if they resonate with the third party situation here that we've lined up. Um, truly not wanting to come in and disrupt something that is already in place and stable. Um, we have this flat shell, which, which makes me think of the Empress energy. Uh, again, motherhood, loving energy. Children are represented by the Empress. And just putting you up on that pedestal and the amount, the it really speaks to the amount of attraction that exists between the two of you and the amount that they, they find you beautiful and attractive and voluptuous if you are the divine feminine in this connection. Um, they just find you really, really attractive. And it kind of calls out to them. We have the baby carriage, so children are a factor in this connection. Okay, group number three, that's your reading. This is who is constantly thinking about you. These are some of their thoughts of you right this moment. Some of their thoughts about you and this connection. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification. I would love to have you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage. If you're on Instagram, you can head on over there. I'm on Instagram as well. Um, it's a great way to reach out for me, and sometimes I do a monthly free reading giveaway over on Instagram too, so lots of chances to win. Um, but ultimately, I just really hope that you come back and visit me, and I hope you guys have a great day today. Bye, guys.